there's some nice properties we have for logarithms just like there are properties for exponents. There's a lot of similarities between the two since they are inverses of each other. So these are properties when you have x, y, and a are all greater than zero. a does not equal one and if r is a real number. Here's what we have. If I have log with the base a and inside I have the product xy, you can rewrite this to be log with the base a of x plus log with the base a of y. Think about the connection we have with exponents. When you multiply and you have the same base with exponents, what do you do with those exponents? You add them, similarly to what I have here. If I have log with the base a of the quotient x divided by y, this is going to be log with the base a of x minus log with the base a of y. Again, think back to what you know about exponents. If you were dividing with exponents and they had the same base, what do you do with the exponents themselves? If you divide, you subtract the exponents. If you multiply, you add. So it's very similar to that. And here's one last little guy, which I think is really neat. It's a real time saver. Log to the base a of x to the r. That means you have r factors of x, right? So if you wrote that out, you'd have log x, log x, log x, all those log x's added together. How many would you have? You'd have r of them. And here's the connection we make with exponents. If you have a power to a power, what do you do with the exponents? Mm -mm. Power to a power, you do what? Multiply. You multiply. And here's how we can use these properties of logarithms. I can ask you to expand something using these powers. It's just very simple if I were to say this log with the base 2 of x to the fifth. Looking at the last property that I wrote, how would you rewrite this? 5 times log with the base 2 of x. If you wrote this out, this would be x times x times x times x times x, right? How many factors of x do you have? 5. And if you use this first property, you'd have log x plus log x plus log x and so on. How many log x's would you have? You would have five of those. If I were to write this, log to the base b of 3y, how can I rewrite that guy? Log b3 plus log b. Log of base b of 3, right, plus log with base b of y. You just separate those, right? You may be wondering, why would I even separate these? Well, back in the day, when you had really complicated logarithmic e expressions, things you were trying to evaluate, you wouldn't have to know what the log of 100 was, or the log of, you know, 81. But if you know that 81 is made up of 3 to the 4th, then that's something that you can figure out because there are these things called log tables. And back in the day before they had the calculus, you could use the log tables and just do a little bit of smaller computations. Let's go crazy though. Yes, join me on my fantastic trip through crazy land. What? You could write a lot of steps for this, but I don't want to. If I just had this piece right here, what would you write? Five times log. Five times log with x, right? 14. What would you say for this one? Same thing. Nine times log, Nine times log with base a of y, right? So you just combine the two. Yeah. Since, it's a, since it's multiplication in the middle, when I separate this, what do I actually get? I actually get addition. Now, I would like to go straight to the answer, but I'm going to do this for you. 
This is log with the base a of x to the fifth plus log with the base a of y to the ninth, and then I finish this. So five times log with the base a of x plus nine times log with the base a of y. That's how you would finish. Okay. Well, yeah. Now, you could skip from the original to the final answer. You should be able to anyway. And here's a neat little hint for you. When you've got a product, anything that's in the numerator is going to be positive. What if I had something in the denominator? What would the sign be on the outside? Say again? This is all a product in here with no denominator, really. So everything here is positive. If I have factors in the denominator, though, if I were to say log of a to the sixth over b to the fourth c to the tenth. This a is the only guy that's going to be positive. What would that be when you expand it? Don't you split them up? I mean, you still have six times log to the a. Minus what? Minus Plus it's still going to be minus, actually. It's Since this is a... it's in the denominator? Exactly. Okay, so then exactly. minus 10 log C. Cool. Notice what I didn't write here on this log that I've written on everything else. What's different? The no base. There's no base written here, right? When there's no base written, it's understood to be something, though. Just like when I write the square root symbol, if there's no index, what is it understood to be? If I just write the two. square, what does that mean? Two. It's understood to be a 2. If I just write log of x like this, it really means log with the base 10 of x. That's what it means. If you look at your calculator, there's a button that says log. Okay, And that's with understood to be a base 10.